Hello and welcome to Film Companion South. In this episode, we are going to be talking about Nayat, directed by Martin Prakat and written very, very beautifully by Shahi Kabir. Now, the film begins with a scene that I kind of read as a metaphor. It's a tug of war scene. It's a big event. I mean, there's drums, there's speeches, there's commentary, there's everything. It's a big tug of war between two teams of men. And in the middle of this event, there is a smiling politician who's going by the crowds. She's soliciting votes. This scene kind of sets up what's going to follow because the film itself is going to be a kind of a tug of war between what we traditionally call right and wrong. And why is the politician important? What does she signify? The fact that the by-elections are right around the corner. But before we get to what these elections mean, what the politics means and all that kind of stuff, let's look at what happens in the local police station where we have a cop named Manian played by Joju George. At this point, a case happening where a young boy and a young girl have been caught together. The girl's father wants a false case slapped on the boy because he's a minister and he doesn't want this girl associating with that boy anymore. And who helps him? frame this false case, Manian, that is the Joju George character. Now, why Joju George does this is clearly obvious. One is obviously because a higher up has asked him to do something, but there's also something internal, something personal, because he himself is the father of a young girl. He's very proud of her achievements, and he probably has something inside him that says, I don't want my daughter ending up in a situation like this. So Manian goes to the minister's house, he burns a window and frames the boy with that false case, and the rest of the movie could be called Karma is a bitch and it's going to come back and bite your ass. But before we get there, let's look at the two other cops in the movie, played by Kunchakov Boban and by Nimisha Sajen. They are named Praveen and Sunita. And you kind of get the feeling at first that maybe a romantic interest is developing because at first when Sunita gets into Praveen's jeep, uh, he's kind of looking at her through the rearview mirror. And then later, at a much later scene during a wedding, where they kind of steal glances at each other and in a kind of way that says, I kind of like you and you think that a romance is developing. Now, Night is not that kind of movie at all because suddenly we are thrust into Hitchcockian territory. Now, one of Hitchcock's favorite themes was an innocent man on the run. So Martin Prakart and his writer, they take this premise, this template of what could be a thriller and they do a number of very, very interesting things with it. In the usual movie, the cops are the chasers and the killers or the bad guys are the chasees, if you want. Here, it's quite different. Another thing is that usually these thrillers are nail biters. And this too is a kind of a nail biter in the sense that it's a ticking clock thriller because the by-elections are coming by and a certain event has to happen before the day of the actual voting. So there's a clock ticking down and making this a thriller. But apart from that, each of these characters have something to do very soon. Now, Praveen has to take his mother to hospital. Nimisha has to finish the construction in her house and Joju George has to kind of uh, make sure that he attends his daughter's performance. But in the middle of all these ticking clock thriller type things, this is also the kind of movie where people stop to have chai, where people stop to buy a packet of sanitary pads. Another beautiful subversion is that when we usually think of thrillers, we think of glossy movies in which, you know, things move with well-oiled precision. This is a very rooted thriller. Now it is rooted in the election, it is rooted in policemen and politicians, it is rooted in the Dalit vote and the Dalit youth who refuse to bow down to the cops. And throughout there is a subtext running through the movie about the lives of cops. There's for one the thing about what we the audience think about these particular set of cops. Then there is what they themselves think about their line of work and the third is what the public thinks about cops. One of my favorite scenes in the movie takes place in a cannabis forest where two sets of locals are fighting for water and when an outsider asks, why don't you just call in a cop? One of them says, why should we call a cop? They'll ask for witnesses, we just want water. So Nayati builds and builds and builds with all these social and political and other things and the final moments where a decision has to be made by two people it's excruciating to watch. By now, it's kind of redundant to say that I've seen a Malayalam movie and all the performances are excellent, but Joju George is especially fantastic. He rules the film like a god. Now it is an object lesson on how to take a thriller template, subvert it, and leave the audience thinking that they have just watched a hard-hitting social drama. That's it about Night. If you like this video, do subscribe to Film Companion South and see you soon at the movies. Mm -hmm.